Hello. Hey, we are back with another episode of Chicken Police. And I noticed um, that sometimes my face can worse over the over the text of the game. And I decided to put my head in another corner of the game and I hope it's it's better now. It looks like it and we can continue our story here. So quick recap, we um, met with our partner, partner Mari and um, yeah we, we headed out for I think a, a cup of coffee to like catch up with him and um, there was some some trouble going on in the police department. We are not that good with our like chief, uh, I think his name was Bloodboil and um, yeah we we, we got to know that the the society like has a little problem with insects and they um, I think they said they got locked away and are like um, a lower part a lower class of, of society and I think we will get to know that I think it's really cool that we have like um, those those problems in society that we have to deal with like aside from our case Hi, so I'm currently editing the third episode and I was just going through the footage and uh, what I just said sounded a bit like weird because I <laughs> didn't mean to like yeah it's so cool that they have like problems in their society I just wanted to say that I think it's really cool for them to implement that in the in the game and like give a bigger frame to, to the world and um, yeah, like allude to those real life problems we we also have. Um, <laughs> racism is not cool, so that's just what I wanted to say. And please don't <laughs> interpret it in any other way. Just to make that clear here. And yeah, let's jump right in. The hop dog was like the okay, last so we uh, got thrown back to the last saving point. On the so we did already. Uh, see that warning. You don't serve, serve bugs here. Okay, so that's like I think that's kind of a racism problem. They they don't like bugs or insects, and um, yeah, I think that would be a that would be a big role in this in this game here. So I I think I haven't like uh, looked at every Are you sure that thing here. Dog? wondered the name hop dog is quite a giveaway don't you think so mr. detective sometimes the most natural connections lead us astray who said that I think Marty he's like he uh, seems a bit younger than us a natural born genius <laughs> yeah right we seem like an old school detective cop and he's like this young and dynamic <laughs> uh, co-partner here. Yeah, it's like a hot dog and a dog. <laughs> so the city isn't it? Peaceful. Because mm, the whole town's probably drunk by now. Maybe that's the only way it can bear itself. Doesn't it remind oh. you of someone? <laughs> Shut up, Marty. <laughs> Got you there, old bird. <laughs> It's kind of cute when he calls us old bird. This wreck belong to Zip. Well, it's a Zip. Wreck, just I like think it. he's the owner of well, the uh, coffee shop or the hop dog shop here. <laughs> okay. I think we can speak to him. I think we should. Hey, pal. Can you hear me? Okay. So. Look at the poor bastard. He's looking okay, Marty. I think we you saw that we saw uh, at the in the last episode. Wild ones. But yeah, we needed the, the entry. Trying to forget that shit every day. Ah, shit, my telephone rings. I'll be back. was clear that uh, they were calling me back when I was recording, so... <sighs> uh, 
let's get back to it. So I think we, we got everything. Let's see. So let's let's go in. Ugh, the place is deserted. Poor Zip. You're right. Yeah, the guy's middle name is bad luck. That's for sure. Okay, let's just look around to the box. Oh, can we? <laughs> that's that's really cute. Not all cops are pigs. <laughs> I think I want that. Can we? Ah, okay. Fly the with me, baby. Himself. The master. Finch. This is like an Elvis Presley. What's That's his name? Not, he's a pigeon, not a finch. Don't make me angry, Marty. Okay, I was only joking. Custom made the new style of rock and roll. <laughs> Cute. Let's just look around everywhere. Doodles. The highlight of my day. Yeah, I can smell it already. How does he make the coffee here so special? Look at that mangy trash panda and tell me, do you really want to know? Um, you're right. As always. <laughs> trash panda. What insight? Look. Look, the king, okay. Where all the colors go? Where all the colors go? Well, okay. that's a good question, pal. So everybody sees black and white. Well, that's like kind of a mystery here, so maybe menu. You still don't eat meat, old man? Okay, so we're vegetarian. I'm a rooster, a chicken. Why the hell would uh, I eat He has meat? a point. <laughs> I don't mean real meat. I'm not a lunatic, but a meat substitute is about ten different kinds. Have you never tried any of them? Why would I? If I don't eat meat, why would I eat a substitute? I mean, that's yeah. I think in this animal world there would be a higher percentage of vegetarians than like in the real world because like many people are natural uh, many animals are naturally vegetarians so yeah it makes sense that they have like a, a wide variety um of substitutes because you can that's the wild gods marty stop See? being such a sheep do you fall for those adverts? Substitute isn't meat, Sonny. And if it's tasty, why wouldn't I eat it? They both got a point. What you eat, but don't be surprised when you lose all your feathers or you try to bite off your own leg one day. So, almost ham and tomato. <laughs> Quasi meat. All but bacon. <laughs> all for. Formal? For. for all for faux pancakes. Touché souffle, smell and souffle. Grass dog, stepper, steppy, step. Sia superstar, hop dog, hot dog. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, let's just look at it. Sure didn't and get then, any younger. Oh, well, nobody yeah. does. <laughs> you think he's still mad at us? Frankly, Marty, I don't give a damn. Oh, what did we do to him? The poor old trash panda. No. Stop him. Hello, boys. Now, get the hell out of here while I'm asking nothing. <laughs> He's mad. He's still hey, mad, yes. Is that how you greet two old friends? Hey, old friends? I'm not joking, Sonny. I got a shotgun under the bar. No, you don't. Because if you had, we'd arrest you here and now. <laughs> If there's still life in you when you're full of buckshot. <laughs> ah, it's going well so far. We're just here for a coffee, Sorry. Zip. Okay? Like old times. Nothing's like old times. Haven't you noticed? Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's quite noticeable. Shit. All right. Then where'd you blow in from? We haven't been anywhere yet. But we're going somewhere. Everybody's going somewhere, right? Tell me, how much do you know, Zip? No, but what? It depends. How deep is it? Bottom of the well kind. Goes down around Ibn Wessler. Ah, okay. So, we're also here to get some informations. 
Holy hell. Some information. What? Sorry. <laughs> you dip your wings in deep shit, boys. Oh boy. If you've got anything on him, don't keep it to yourself. We'd be grateful. Grateful? Maybe you're not gonna trash my joint this time, eh? You know, Ibid's acting strange nowadays. He always believed that if you want something done, you do it yourself. That's how it was for years anyway. Okay. But now, he left his real estate, the fish racing clubs, the casinos, and the bars to his right-hand man, Mongrel Mick. Mongrel. He's been kind of weird. Bottom down. Brooding in the seediest joints of the city. Nobody ever knew him to be like this. Weird, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, weird. You think it's about a lady? It's always about a lady. <laughs> well, there is a woman. I knew it. Bad, not like you think. Is this gonna cost much? Only a favor. Like the good old days. Okay. Okay, I'm in. New function ask. Okay, so let's take a quick look here. Now journal. Okay, people. Some new information about Ibn. It's been acting quite strange recently. As he first as if he was trying to withdraw from his own shady business to live a simple life with simple pleasures. That wouldn't be a problem in itself, but <laughs> this just isn't like him. Okay. How do I... I don't know how to navigate this thing here. Zip H. Murphy. Raccoon. An old enemy who become a good friend over the years. Okay. He used to be a small, t <laughs> small time criminal, but he, but the underworld pushed him out. Now he makes the best coffee in the whole city in a rundown roadside rest area. Oh, and he also pro uh, proved to be a rather useful police informant. Okay, so this is why we <laughs> like to have coffee here. Zip is getting old, he still has his connection and it's worth questioning him about everything, but this time has had its way on him too. Okay, so we can question him. The Cobbler District, also known as the Hive or Roach Town. Ah, I think that's uh, that's where the insects live. It was once part of the city, mm, but then became a world world of ghetto, where ninety eight percent of the city's insects population is forced to live. Okay, so they are forced to live. There, yeah, currently the biggest threat to the city are the riots in the Hive that have that have almost driven the city state to the brink of civil war multiple times already. Okay. Um, not long, uh, not long after the Mead War, oh, the Mead War, and the following economic crisis in 1893, a fire almost destroyed the city of Clovel, the entire city of Clovel. Originated in the Redwell district, not even the River Times was able to stand in its way. It was a fiery hell incarnate, through which the city had to be built up against from almost scratch. Scratch. Okay. Great fire of Clover, the meat wars. Maybe it's like meat eaters against can so carnivores against like the vegetarian species. Meat replacement or meat substitutes food made it po made it possible to reduce meat consumption. Yeah, that's logical because they have to kill like uh, in this world like people and uh, well, uh, I didn't didn't think of it that way. Uh, reduce meat consumption, predation, and domestic cannibalism in the whole wilderness. These products are widespread nowadays and are not only popular with predators but all kinds of animals. Okay. Make us one of the most infamous henchmen of Ibn Wesler. Ah, so the the Elvis mock mock off here <laughs> um, is a henchman of Ibn. So maybe we get to know him personally. Known by many rather scary nicknames, thanks, thanks to his cruel nature. Sonia and Marty have crossed paths with Mick before and it took a lot of effort to get uh, out of those encounters with feathers intact. Okay, so that's it. Oh, we can look at the door. Like last time. Yeah, because last time you tore it out and beat that baboon with it. Oh, maybe <laughs> that's why he's mad. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember now. So that's why Zip remodeled the whole place. Oh, okay, because we trashed it. Nice. He had to. We 
didn't leave much of it standing. If I didn't know how oh. nice we are, I'd almost hate ourselves. Yeah, so maybe we are a bit unconventional in our methods. Welcome to the club, partner. Okay, let's question him. Oh, okay. For real? For real? Okay, we were about to um, question him. Okay. I don't know if we should be straightforward or... Oh no, we, we just ask him about, we don't interrogate him. Okay, so let's, let's start with the hop dog. I say, you've revamped the joint pretty well. Yeah, let's like give him some compliments, let him, you know. Get warm with us again. Uh, after you trashed it, I had to. Uh. <laughs> Look, I'm uh, I'm sorry, Zip. That ocelot and his gorilla. Baboon, not gorilla. Whatever. Funny. <clears throat> What's your beef? So you owe me one until about the end of time. But I settled for you washing up here for a few years after retirement. Mind your tongue, furball. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been to that place? The Sour Bar? Of course, a hundred times. Everyone who matters in this city's been there. Sorry, guy. But then, <laughs> it had a different name and a different owner. Business affairs, right? Yeah, that was the dark era, son. I don't want to talk dark about era. it. Roger that. Oh, he has like um, a scar on his nose. He he. Well, he he seems like he looks like he had like some tough times here. Okay. So Ibn's gone insane. Love will kill you in the end, they say. Seems like everyone's in a poetic mood today. <laughs> You're one to talk, by the way. Huh? Why? So, Natasha. That woman, is she really that dangerous? <laughs> what woman is it, eh? <laughs> He's kind of right, though. No, Zip. I mean, really dangerous. She's got the most influential gangster of the city wrapped around her finger. She calls him her little furball. How dangerous do you think she is? So, but... She's the lady that needs our help, so maybe she got into a little conflict with all of those uh, gangsters around. Mm. Got like, trapped. You didn't something. get any younger, pal. You're so nice, Sonny. Wait, you're telling me? You look like you haven't had a good night's sleep since forever. To be honest, True. I've never had a good night's sleep in my life. <laughs> you uh. will when the big sleep comes. Oh boy. And what are your plans? Dying behind the bar? Of course. You got a better idea? A couple, yeah. But somehow this suits you. You know what? Your mother's a goat. Okay, so... We ask him all the things. Maybe we can speak to him Agnes again. Tash is a mysterious right woman, a real cursed jewel, if you ask me. She came out of nowhere two or three years ago and landed on the stage of the millions almost immediately. Mm -hmm. Is that so? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, she's got a fantastic voice, makes men go crazy. But we all know that's not what's important. Then suddenly, bam, she got the whole club, just like that. But we know exactly how it works. I can imagine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Since then, it operates oh. under the name 
the Czar Club. It's right? uh, Czar Club and it's Czar Ba. The old click is still clicking, right? Yeah, the club was renamed and remodeled. Everyone knows she was Ibn's lover, but she's not your usual canary. She didn't get involved in Ibn's dirty dealings. Then how exactly does she fit into the picture? Check this. A few months ago, the old rat pulled out of his own businesses and gave control to Mongrel Mick and his mob. Mongrel Mick? Doesn't sound familiar. Okay, wait, so I I seem to have like confused Mick and this Mavis music Elvis guy. <laughs> um we we didn't know Mongrel Mick until now, so just delete that. Mick the Marauder ring a bell? Damn, that little monkey came this far? Monkey? I think that little shit took advantage of Ibn not being himself. Okay. Which has something to do with this Natasha, right? So maybe this Mick guy and Natasha, like, uh, yeah, took advantage of Ibn. They used him for maybe something. But why does Natasha now need all her bets? The question. That's my guess. Thanks for the straight dope, Sim. We owe you. Okay. One. You owe me the price of a new coffee shop, remember? <laughs> okay, okay. Whatever you need. Just call us. Okay. I'm clucking Will. Hey, pal. Clucking Will. Hey, I'm not your pal, Marty. <laughs> so, let's just look up a few information about Natasha. She was the singing sensation of the millions and later became the, the owner. Okay. Um, the Millions was the club before it was the Tsar Club, I guess. Under Ibn's patronage. Pat patronage. Not much is known of her past before this, though. Okay. Zip. Zip was delivering information to Ibn up to a couple of years ago. He was already working as a police informant then, so he may have been reporting to both sides. <laughs> the sneaky little bastard. Yeah, well. I think he's, he's a good guy and, well, maybe we try not to trash his place, like, once more. Okay, you I think sure that's talk. it. Or maybe the past is haunting me. Once a rat, always a rat, right? Aw, oh, come on, Zippy. Don't be so hard on yourself. You got out in time, and you've been living an honest, ordinary life since then, haven't you? Yeah, right. How lucky am I, eh? It's more than what many others get, believe me. Yeah, so I think that's it at the hop dog. Let's what do we have in our bag? Yeah. Something new here. So let's move. Okay, we can go to the Hotel Atlas. Because that's the limited place here. Let's go. Yeesh, oh, okay. Like condolences, pal. I see <laughs> That's our room. Cleaning lady died. <laughs> uh, if there ever was a cleaning yeah, lady. Yeah, she set foot in the bedroom once. I haven't seen her since. I didn't dare to go after her. Oh, I wouldn't want to go in there either. But what's that smell? Ah, cigarettes and whiskey. Yeah, with a hint of dirty laundry. But no, this is. Oh, that's, uh, that's Deborah's scent, I, I yeah, guess? That. No, that's gotta be the yeah. Ibanez dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter. And the job, obviously. Ah, pretty, huh? I can smell it. She's an exotic, too. An Impala, maybe? I, I didn't, uh, know that chickens can smell that well. I don't know if that's, like, an, an animal thing. But furry hell. That's why Chief oh. Inspector Bloodboil hates you so much. He's jealous because oh. you don't know okay, maybe better than a clucking bloodhound. Maybe that's his speciality. Yep. <laughs> the bitter old dog. He just hates all pals. <laughs> yeah, true. Except for Monica. Monica. Monica is a fairy, not a bird. So, what now? They all like 
I, I don't know. Um, what's the word? <laughs> hey, I'll praise Monica that high in, in the sky. She's she must be so lovely. I mean, you talk to her. She's really kind of cute. Now let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what she really wants. Ooh, after you, boss bird. I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. If it's okay, I'll just stand around and stare out the window. <laughs> sure, just do it quietly. Okay, so what can we do around here? I think that's. My wife took all the good ones. Oh. She knew they'd only gathered dust here. I like it how they have different phrases if you like look at something twice and well look at something later on. Cheap whiskey, ton of I'm papers. Gonna clean up here one day. Yeah, and one day the sun's gonna explode too. Okay, I wonder if we have like something new here. Shots was Just checking. Day. At least until we learn what this Natasha woman really wants. Yeah, maybe not let mm, let's not get that drunk if we have business to have do here. Started on your great novel yet? I've already started working on my will, but I realize I'd have to leave everything to you, so clock that. <laughs> Sunny has such a dark humor, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> because same. Smelling like old socks and bourbon. You'll have to earn it first, Marty. Go. Okay, so we got this. Maybe this is the chance to like get the get the gun if we didn't have uh, in the first place maybe in another lifetime old bird oh uh, he's sad because he didn't like travel i don't even know where the key is didn't travel whatever's anymore. inside is gonna stay Same. there forever <laughs> okay talk to him let's just when talk to him last time i was here i don't know years ago when Molly left. Hmm. That was a, a wild night. Yeah. Oh, so it didn't go down, uh, didn't go down that peacefully with Molly, I guess. You know, Sonny, you can call me. Not just when you want to investigate some shady case from a shady dame and you need a big meat shield to cover your ass. <laughs> Times have changed, Marty. And I don't call anyone. I think we're very lonely and depressed <laughs> and cynical. All right, all right, boss bird. Whatever you say. But I appreciate that Marty like um, new function us. Oh, okay. Um, I appreciate that Marty offers us his help. So let's let's just Have ask him. Have you been there before? Uh, never. You know it's not my style. It's too. Mm. Fancy for me. I'm more like the smoky, smelly, ramshackle little joint type. Uh, I think we are too. Yeah, same yeah. here. But we're not gonna mingle like this, right? We're not searching for a tailor on New Year's Eve, okay? We'll go as we are. That'll be exciting. Let's just stay out of trouble. Not I keep trouble. forgetting. I keep forgetting that it's New Year's Eve, so the club will be full. That's the spirit. Okay. Deborah. She just turned up with a message on this flyer, and you fell for it? Hmm. He has a point, though. Maybe what if we got tricked? And they. But what would they use us for? I. I don't think that we are, like, a threat to them. Maybe. We don't know. Maybe I was bored. Or maybe there's more to this thing than meets the eye. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's always more. Maybe I just wanted to meet you for old time's <laughs> sake. That's not funny. <laughs> I've never had a good sense of humor. You know that better than anyone. Oh, well, I quite like his humor, so... <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> Next to the Czar Club, huh? My city's on fire. Sounds good. Oh, that... That's all? Kind of weak for a clue. That was the... Uh, the one song we saw in the jukebox, so... Maybe we should take a look at the flyer again. It's not a clue. It's just a guy. By the way, it's New Year's Eve. We deserve some fun, right? Well, that's true. But it's never that easy with you, boss bird. There's something you're not telling me, right? 
Nothing important, Marty. Ah, uh, yeah. If you say so. Mm. Oh, <laughs> hi, Mr. Sinclair. How are we? <laughs> so our Magnum is called Mr. Sinclair. Sinclair is doing fine, thanks. Anyway, you still talk to your guns? Yeah. And so what? Other animals talk to their plants. Okay. Crazy, isn't it? At least a gun has a soul. And it's useful. I mean, people talk to their cars, so that's not that uh, crazy. I can't believe you're allowed to walk around freely, Birdie. <laughs> oh, if you only knew what I'm packing right now. I don't want to know what's under your feathers, Marty. So we are prepared. <laughs> okay, let's speak to him again. Oh, am I staring quietly enough? Well, the floor's creaking a bit when you <laughs> shift your weight, so uh, you're an asshole. Yeah, we are. Okay. Mm, it would be best to board it up. It would go well with this rundown neighborhood. Okay, we can't. It can't may go be in. run down, but somehow I still feel like it's honest. Sure, you can live in Cockroach Town. That's an honest place too. Has a similar stink. Yeah. Believe me, Marty, I thought about it. <laughs> uh, why am I not surprised? Okay, let's look at the pictures again. But this is them. Oh. Yeah, the wild Marty. gentlemen. They were role models when I was a kid. Well, you must have been a weird kid. There we go. Ain't surprising. My idols were the White Wolf and Super Squirrel. <laughs> Super Squirrel. Nice. So I'm always hunting for that, like, uh, those piece of information I like to know everything about and uh, complete the codex. That would be super fun to to know everything about the world. The white wolf, eh? <laughs> Explains a lot. You know, when I was back in Iberia, Clawville and the whole let's live together in peace bullshit seemed like an unattainable dream. Those guys made it happen. The city rose from the ashes of the great fire. Yeah, the great fire. Yeah, but look at it now. And what would have become of you if you hadn't ended up in Clawville? Maybe you'd even be happy? Perhaps. Oh. Huh. The, the old, old days. days. You know, I miss him sometimes. What? The hype? Us as celebrity cops? <laughs> nah, the work. The buzz. The phone the ring adrenaline. at and knowing if you pick it up, you'll be dragged into something terrible. Because <laughs> that's your job. And of course you pick it up. Every fucking time. <laughs> I'm not sure it's healthy to enjoy that. Hey, yeah, man. No healthy animal becomes a cop in Clawville. Some people they they need the thrill. Yeah, true. Ah, <sighs> man, I can't imagine how you feel. The only good thing you ever had, huh? Shut up, Marty. <laughs> sure. Okay, Molly is uh. Is it a canary bird? Yeah, maybe. Hmm, I didn't know you used to be a kindergarten teacher. But leather is history. So back leather. off. Leather? Maybe it's like the same with me. I'm touched by the trust you have in me, Bach Bird. There are things better left undisturbed, okay? Yeah, got mm -hmm. it. Who is that shaggy creature? That's M.B. Davis, you bird brain. Okay, he's, he's younger Audition? than us. Am I gonna have to smash your beak? Seriously, I don't know who the hell he is. <sighs> okay. So let's just take a quick look at the codex before we finish this episode off here. The White Gentleman. A civilian organization started by the four most influential and wealthiest animal in the city. The fire of 1867 had almost entirely, wi entirely wiped Clover off the face of the wilderness when the white gentleman intervened but, uh, and built the city anew, using all their money and influence. They were heroes, or at least they were regarded as such. Some believed the fire was their doing. Oh, and it was all part of a national conspiracy, but most likely we'll never know the truth. Okay, there's some conspiracy theories here going on. Maybe we... We'll find out about that. The country inhabited, uh, inhabited exclusive, 
exclusively by birds. It's a picturesque modern place governed by a, dom a democratic parliament. It's bordered by two seas and it's, uh, and it's econom economics built um, mostly on air transport. Well, logical with uh, bird birds, commerce and it's aerial military. Yeah, seems seems legit. The country's on uh, neutral terms with almost um, with uh, sorry. Uh, neutral terms with, with almost every other nation and except for the Great Meat War had kept their standpoint all through known history. Oh, don't talk. So one more. Leather and fur. Leather and fur used to be high fashion, but nowadays, especially in global, the use of real leather and fur is quite rare. It's not totally illegal to wear this kind of clothes yet. <laughs> clothes yet. Uh, if you can afford it, but it's quite despicable, but uh, to put it m mildly. I mean, you wear like skin and hair from um, yeah, your fellow uh, mates. I mean, if we like regard it as a like real life thing, it's it's changed. I think there are like parallel there are many parallels like with the racism of the insects and something like that they um, they might made up uh, a quite believable society here uh, with meat and fur and stuff like that I really like it and yeah it's exciting and I think we will go to the next place um, here wait no not the hot dog the star club um, in the next episode and Let's meet Natasha there, and I hope you enjoyed it, and come back next episode. Bye!